Thanks for clicking on the video. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So The Ultimate Fighter Season 30 starts on May 3rd and it has a great cast full of hungry regional fighters. The show will feature heavyweights and flyweights living under one roof alongside two of the best female fighters in the world. Tough 30 will begin the road to the rematch between coaches Amanda Nunez and Juliana Pena. So we wanted to share a little bit more about the contestants before the first episode drops. Let's talk about the flyweights. Though the division is slim, the UFC was able to get a handful of prospects for this season. Both experienced fighters and fighters early on in their careers. Let's start with Team Elevation's Claire Guthrie. Claire has been building her name on the regional scene under the Invicta FC promotion aside from her lone LFA fight. Her last win is actually against another cast member, Juliana Miller. Since Invicta constantly showcases they don't know how to build talent, they pitted these prospects against one another early on. Currently 3-1, and one, Grizzly could very well win it all this season. Not only does she have some of the best coaches in the game behind her, she's such a well-rounded beast in the cage. In her four fights, she has only fought up and coming prospects like herself. She also went 7-1 and one in her amateur career. So it will be interesting to see what she does in front of Dana White. An accountant by day and an MMA fighter by night, definitely keep an eye on Guthrie this season. She is perfect for this show. Moving on to California's Juliana Killer Miller. Though Juliana lost to Claire, she is still one of the best prospects on the show this season. Also fighting under Invicta, she's coming off that loss prior to filming, but has stayed active in jiu-jitsu tournaments. Currently 2-1 and one as a pro, Juliana is a killer on the ground. She's a jiu-jitsu brown belt and has two first-round submissions, one rear naked choke and one arm bar. At 25 years old, Miller is the youngest contestant on the show this season. She also went 6-0 and oh as an amateur. Without a doubt, she is a superstar in the making, and we believe Dana White will think so as well. We're excited to see how Angela Hill's training partner does on Tough 30, and if she can do what Brady Heiston did last season as the youngest competitor on the show. Next up, we got the 34-year-old killer, Chantel Coates. She joins the cast coming off her lone win under the Comb Bate Global promotion against their Golden Girl. She also is the owner of the fastest knockout in Invicta history with a 28-second knockout back in 2018. Prior to turning pro, Chantel also went to and won as an amateur. Needless to say, we're excited to see her power on display this season and to get to know her more. Moving on to Brogan Walker. She joins the season's cast with the best resume out of the women. She boasts a 7-2 and two record with her lone finish coming out of her most recent win. The 32-year-old Guam fighter fights out of California and is probably the favorite to win the season. Not only has she been in the cage with former UFC fighters, she holds a win over Miranda Maverick. That win alone should tell you all you need to know about the bear. Make sure you tune in this season to see how she does being one of the more battle-tested flyweights on the cast. Next up, we have Denver's Catherine Pap Rocky. Though currently 3-2, and two, she is an absolute savage in the cage and fights anyone, anytime, anywhere. When most women play it safe, Catherine does not. Her last fight for the LFA was against a short-notice opponent, and her recent loss on the Contender series was also that. If you look at her record, she has fought some of the best in the game today. So do not sleep on her. The 28-year-old mom of two will look to win the season as the underdog and we can't wait to watch how she does. I personally watched her as an amateur fighter take on three women in one night and come out victorious. Make sure you tune in on May 3rd to see what she does in front of Dana White for a second time. Moving on to my personal pick to potentially take it all, Helen Peralta. She joins the cast with a 5-2 and two record and multiple wins under Bare Knuckle FC, including a win over the promotion's current reigning champion. Helen is an absolute killer on the feet. She even has a win over UFC's Shy and Vlismus. The 33-year-old could absolutely win the entire competition. I mean, just look at her resume. It speaks for itself. Not only has she fought for BKFC, she's fought for CFFC, LFA, and Invicta FC. Do not sleep on this one. We have a feeling she will surprise a lot of people. 9-1 and one as an amateur and now 7 fights deep into her career, she has the second best resume on the cast and all the accolades to be the next Ultimate Fighter winner. Next up we have Kaylin Neal. The 30-year-old joins the cast with a 5-4 and four record, having only fought once since 2019. 
Fighting under the LFA, Invicta and Combate promotions, it'll be interesting to see what she does on the show. The Utah fighter will definitely bring more eyes to the show with her 80,000 followers tuning in to see how she does. If you've watched past seasons of The Ultimate Fighter, you know sometimes the under-the-radar fighters make it far, sometimes even win the entire show. So don't you dare miss an episode. Last but not least, we have the lone replacement of season 30, Hannah Guy. Though we are sad Melissa Odessa was not cleared for the show, Hannah was the perfect replacement. She's another one of those savages who is not afraid to fight anyone. She recently beat Bella Tours Golden Girl Valerie Loreda on short notice. She also took BKFC's new star prospect Taylor Starling to decision in her lone bare knuckle fight. At 26 years old, Hannah has a master four and one professional record after going undefeated as an amateur. Filling in on short notice yet again, we are excited to see her put on for Mississippi. Watch out for the hurricane this season. It all starts on May 3rd, so mark your calendars if you haven't already done so. Before the first episode airs, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to The Scrap, and set up those post notifications.